New revelations in the years-long investigation into the murder of two young teen girls in Delphi, Indiana. Freshly unsealed court documents allege Richard Allen admitted to killing Abigail Williams and Libby German, quote, no less than five times while talking to his wife and his mother on the public jail phones. Back in 2017, the two girls went missing while hiking a local trail. One day later, their bodies were found in the woods. I miss you. Hello. Please call the tip line. Police had this video to work with just a few seconds from Libby's cell phone of a man hard to identify, but with this chilling audio. Hi. Family members pleading with the public to review the video and police sketches. Then, a break. An arrest has been made. Investigators say they believe Richard Allen is the man in this video. They say in a probable cause affidavit that he told them he was on the trail that afternoon, but denied being involved in the murders. Last October, investigators searched Allen's home. A laboratory analysis determined the unused bullet located near one of the victims had been in the chamber of one of Allen's seized firearms, according to a probable cause affidavit. Within three weeks, he was arrested and charged with two counts of murder. The victim's families not ready to rest. We're going to stay after it. I've never given, we haven't ever given up. Allen's lawyers have filed a motion to suppress evidence seized from his home, arguing the affidavit supporting the search warrant was too broad. They also want the laboratory analysis thrown out. But on April 3rd, prosecutors allege Allen called his wife from the Westville Correctional Facility and confessed to the killings. His wife abruptly ended the phone call. Confessions made on prison phone calls are not only admissible, they are devastating. Juries listen to them and believe them. The day after the alleged confession, Allen's attorneys visited him in jail. According to court documents, they say, quote, Mr. Allen appeared to be suffering from various psychotic symptoms, which counsel would describe as schizophrenic and delusional. The next day, they filed an emergency motion saying Allen's treatment in custody is infringing on his constitutional rights and asking for their client to be transferred. All right, Ellison Barber joins us now in studio. So, Ellison, going back to that new reporting, these alleged confessions that he made to his mother and to his mm -hmm. wife, those were recorded phone conversations? Yes, so they say they were made on a public phone within the jail, so they have transcripts of what they say transpired in those phone calls. We have all this information because the judge in this case, Judge Francis Gold, made the decision to release a trove of documents related to this. There are over 118 separate documents here. So going through all of that, there's a lot of information. They say in these documents as well that shortly after he made these phone calls, there was a noticeable change in his behavior. They say he wasn't eating. He was wetting pieces of papers of information from his attorneys and eating it. They did a psychiatric evaluation to see if he needed to be moved. They say the psychiatrist who evaluated him determined he did not need any sort of facility with a psychiatric unit and left him there. Then they say his behavior, according to these documents, went back to normal. The implication there from prosecutors seeming to be that he had a clear right. physical and mental reaction to making these confessions. So this whole process has been so painful for mm -hmm. the families of the, of the two girls who died here. What, what's next in the trial? Where do we go from here? So next, that same judge, Judge Gold, will have to make a determination in terms of the motions related to all of this evidence, what will and will not be allowed to play out in trial. After that is done right now, uh, this trial is expected to happen early next year, early 2024. Allison Barber first. Allison, we appreciate that. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.